Hi. Let's learn about the average daily balance method. The average daily balance method is a common way that credit card issuers calculate the interest charges cardholders have to pay. It is based on the card's outstanding balances on each day of the billing period. The Federal Truth in Lending Act requires credit card issuers to disclose their method of calculating finance charges, as well as the annual percentage rate, APR, fees, and other terms on the card, in their Terms and Conditions Statement. The average daily balance method can take several different forms, including calculations made with or without compounding. The method with compounding will be more expensive for cardholders, and more lucrative for card issuers, than the one without. Here's a simplified example of the average daily balance method without compounding. Suppose a credit card has a balance of $1,000 at the beginning of the billing period and an APR of 20%. That APR translates into a daily periodic rate of about 0.055% or 0.00055. In years past, some credit card companies used a method known as double cycle billing, which based its calculations on the customer's average daily balance over the last two billing cycles. That sometimes resulted in cardholders paying interest on debt they had already paid off. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The average daily balance method is a common way of calculating credit card interest charges. 2. It is based on the card's outstanding balances on each day of the billing period. 3. The average daily balance is multiplied by the card's daily periodic rate and by the number of days in the billing period. 4. The daily periodic rate is the card's annual percentage rate, APR, divided by 365, or 366 in a leap year. Dot. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.